Welcome back, Griffin. Are we started? Yeah, we're started. Okay. I, I don't I like I have like an intro song idea that I wanted to run by you. I was uh-huh. thinking maybe at some point down the road, once you and your band get in the groove, you guys are doing your own songs. Maybe you have like help me come up with a little jingle. What do you say? Like a ten second jingle. I'll like, help you with a jingle. Yeah, like but not, like not like not like some jolly jingle, not like a Santa Claus fairy tale type thing. I'm talking like some some like rock and roll shit. Like some rock and roll. What do you what do you what do you think about that? Like what could I do to make a cool intro? Uh we could uh well we can figure something out, I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's the plan. We're gonna do that. Yeah, we can come up with a ten second jingle. Yeah. Do you wanna hear about my date today? No, I, w- I waited, you asked me nicely, but I um I wanted to wait and save it for the podcast because like why not when we were recording something? Okay. So right. how was your day? <laughs> can you ask again? So how was your day? <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, Brad. I thought you'd never ask. Um, farmer's market, solid choice. You know, uh, as it turns out, very close to where she lives. Did you go to her house? No. Oh. It was sort of a Sunday afternoon. She did say, you know, something about, you know, getting the parking there next time. Because she has the you know cheat code with oh. her parking being so so close. Parked, I parked in a pod. I parked in a Taco Bell parking lot. <laughs> you went to the Mar Vista one. Right? Yeah, I went to the Mar Vista Farmers Park. I was over there. I had dinner over there like an hour and a half ago. Where at? At um this German restaurant. It's pretty good. I did see like a German restaurant on the when I was looking at restaurants nearby. Yeah. Also, yeah. What was it called? Do you remember what it was? You don't remember? Like rock and bock or something. <laughs> Wait, lock and German dock. food. What exactly is that entail? Like, is it like? It's like all the, I know is like Wiener Schnitzel. Yeah, it's like the Schnitzels. <laughs> is it like was was worst worst Kush in Venice better than? It's just different. This is like more. They have all sorts of uh, German food. Uh, worst Kush is like just like s- sausages or whatever. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, bro- yeah. There's this German restaurant in New York. I don't remember where it was or why. It might have been during the holidays. My sister and her friends were like, "You and your brother Trent uh, should should come to this German restaurant. It's like a bar a party." And she's like, I, "I don't own to like a German restaurant. Like it doesn't sound that fun or cool. No. Like, the food is not. I, I don't mean I'm not. A, I'm not one to assume, but I'm gonna assume that the German food wasn't like the best cuisine you've ever had in your life." No, actually, it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's very like simple, very good. Yeah, they're not um, like that. They're like you just gotta. Like eat I got, I got to, I, in the I, winter. Gotta get through the winter. We're not- today I got like chicken, mashed potatoes, and Brussels sprouts, basically, and an, and an egg on top. A, a fried egg. Picturing it like a fried. Kind of like bunched in with like British food. Where it's, it's really like, good. It, it was pretty. It's really good. Actually. It's not like, kind of like a dining hall. You get some woman, yeah. like serving it to you out of the, you know, or guy or whatever inspired you to go to a German restaurant. I, I just wanted to know. Uh, I was just with the band and uh-huh. they, they, t- we went there last, we went there last Sunday, I believe. Um, yeah, we went there last Sunday and it was pretty <laughs> good. Like a regular practice routine. You guys practice. No, and you I mean, go we, to the we, German we, restaurant. We, we don't, I mean, we, we either record or we're like doing something music related, uh, rehearsing, writing, or, you know, mixing sp- our music or whatever. Uh, and you know, you're, we're doing that for six hours and then we get hungry. So we get food. You yeah. Got, that's the you best take refuel a break. Food from music. You want to refuel, get creative. You got to get some German food in your system. That's what we do. Yeah. Um, so how was, how was it? Oh yeah. My date. We'll get to that. Um, went well, it was chill familiarity. You know, we knew, we knew each other from school growing up. So there was that. And uh, I got to buy anything at the farmer's market. Yes. Yeah. First thing was we kind of walked around. I took some inspiration about what you said. Didn't I had like an idea of a restaurant to potentially go to that was nearby. But luckily there are food vendors there and there's tables. Uh, so I we went we got we got two crepes. Nice. We tried both of them. We shared them. Nice. The original crepe, which was uh, like a ham and Swiss. <laughs> One was good. It was solid. Can't go. I mean, you can't go wrong with ham and Swiss as like a s- combo. Oh, really good ham and Swiss is at um, Vintage in Malibu. They had a really good ham and Swiss. But we got the ham and Swiss crepe, and then we got a, uh, like a Nutella strawberry yeah, one. Santa, it was pretty good. You had to go one. sweet and savory, you know, and um, it was good. Then we went, and then we got some, I bought that, and we got some, then we went and got some peaches. 
some peaches. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh, and then there were some flowers. There were some flowers that she was like eyeing and she was talking about, she's like, oh, I always like them in my apartment, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, so wait, you bought, you bought her flowers or not? She was going to buy them. And I was like, no, I'll just, I'll buy them. I bought, so I bought her flowers. Yeah. That's good. Solid, right? Yeah. Solid, right? That's good. What so, do you think about the flowers as a first date? Like showing well, I, up. Well, I, to I told you today, I told you this morning, wasn't it? That you should buy your flowers. Yes. And I was thinking about it yes, you, you, in the you, right context though. In the right context. I think and it, that, was the, that was the right context. I think it worked out pretty well yeah. and that. Cause it wasn't overly like, Oh, Hey, like I showed up first thing I see you. Here's a book. Yeah. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to be a, what would you call that kind of guy who does that? Like annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, just like it, just like, just say like, uh, try hard, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But like in the worst way possible, we also got these, like, we were trying to get, she wanted to get these wellness shots. Mm-hmm. Some shit that said cayenne pepper in the description. Every Did you try that? thing on the menu had cayenne. I was like, do we all, everything has to have cayenne pepper. There's like no mercy on anybody. But no, luckily they were sold out. So I just got some like lemonade variation. It still had cayenne pepper in it. I don't know how they threw that in yeah. with lemonade, but it was good. That's good. It's good. good. I think I cleansed myself too. Like I cleansed. Good. Yeah. And I, you know, speaking of doing the opposite of cleansing myself, I went to Panda Express three times this past week. Why? <laughs> I haven't been there since like middle school. Yeah, I know. And believe me, like me too. That's why, why, why like, did you go there? <laughs> why did I go to buy? Like what? What? Isn't it like as an adult, not very good anymore? <laughs> I don't. You know what? It's yeah, pretty... I question a lot about my. So basically, um, just like the worst thing to get inspiration from is social media for like fitness and stuff. Mm -hmm. I just somehow saw someone talking about how they went to Panda Express and got the teriyaki grilled chicken and vegetables. And I was like, I thought to myself, well, yeah, like that's a sure, like technically on paper, that's a healthy combo. So I went and I got like this giant portion on one day and I was like, damn, that was like pretty filling. And it was a good deal. Like 10 bucks, hella chicken and vegetables. Was, chicken it, and vegetables. was it bad? Is it, was there a lot of stuff in it? Well, they... Now that I think about it, I asked someone, I was talking to someone and they're like, you know, they probably have a lot of fat on the chicken. Like seed oils and stuff. Yeah. Probably the worst way to prepare healthy chicken is yeah. what they do. So I did that for like three days in a row. I don't know why I was like, I was like, I'm literally just writing it on my to-do list. Like, for lunch, I'm going to go out. They'll where, together where, is it? where is the Panda Express over here? So the original one I found was in Marina Del Rey. Uh -huh. Great shop they got over there. <laughs> and then the most recent one that I've gone to twice, that's pretty good sign, is the one on Lincoln in Venice. Okay. Have you been? No, but I think I know. No, I've never been. <laughs> I am, but I think I know where it is. I, is uh, it on like right near Washington? Yeah, yeah, right on the corner, right uh -huh. there by that like exotic meat market or whatever. I was thinking about going there too. That might that's more sensible than going to fucking Panda Express, dude. Mm -hmm. I went and then I honestly, it's the nicest fat like fast food. It's renovated. It's so nice, nicest Panda Express I've ever I've ever seen. I, I did not tell my date, by the way, that I went to Panda Express three times. Yeah, you don't tell her that. You don't let her know that you ever go to Panda. But you know, I did go. So I told someone else that the other day and they were like, that's ridiculous that you did that. Like if, if I told someone that I, I don't know what, yeah, it is kind of bad. A lot of, I probably had a lot of chemicals from Panda you Express. Can probably figure out, you can probably look up online what, what they, how they prepare and what they put in it and all that. What did but you think I, about I just, I can't, I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that it's just like steamed broccoli. Yeah. yeah I don't <laughs> they think put something else in that to make it good right i bet i bet they have a lot of preservatives and additive i don't even know yeah um so you did so did you go to lunch after the date or no did uh no we spent like a good hour at the we had i think we us sitting down and talking with the crepe was okay. kind of the version of lunch because we sat down yeah. at the table yeah, yeah for sure i was sweating my ass off. It was so hot. Yeah, this is a not, not I, went, I got like, a, I, I could have moved probably, but I was in the sun and I was there. I was in the worst spot. I was like drenched in the sun for like 30 minutes. Ugh. You know. So you think there's going to be a second one? I, th I, I think so. Nice. Got to get into the planning of it. But, uh, yeah. Nice. 
Uh, were you ask, asking me about dating? What were you saying? You said you asked me. I'm not. I'm not asking you about your date and going to bring up your the, the name or anything about whatever date you may or may not have gone on. But what was the general theme of the question you were asking me? Is that okay to answer? I wasn't even like a, a very riveting question at all. Well, can you tell was, me then? It's not that crazy. It shouldn't. I don't even remember. Was it about that? Was the one? There's another. It question. was just. It was just texting advice. How was that? Okay, so what was the what was the question? Oh, it's so stupid, Trevor. I don't want to get. Yeah, that's why I want to hear about it. No, I'm not. <laughs> tell me what you wanted to ask me. No, <laughs> why not? Why would you I ask me to talk about my shit? It's not the specific. You, we don't know which girl you're. I know. Do the listeners assume that you're talking to just one girl? Does everyone? I don't want assume? to talk about. Oh, okay. Anything like um. I don't want to talk about any of it. You're worse than Jacob with this shit. You're no, you I'm not. Saying, I'm so don't want to talk about my my purse. My I didn't say. I don't, tell me the name of the. I said like I know. I know. Just, if anyone would anyone actually but if know that, if that person were to watch, oh, and she got the text already because you sent it. But I was what you're talking about. It doesn't. You still haven't said anything that would lead anyone to believe. I'm not. I'm not. We're. I don't want to cover this subject. Okay, fine. We will never ask you. You were talking about how Jacob is like, oh, he doesn't want to go on and say like just actually what he what he thinks and what he says. And then you do. What are you talking about? You said that. You were like, oh, Jacob doesn't. He would go on and he would, you know, hold back and not say what he. Well, I don't know. I like. It's. Some people feel comfortable not talking about certain things on, on live. Yeah, I guess. It's on, and putting it on the internet. Yeah, it's understandable con considering this is going on the internet. Yeah. Um, is there anyone you think would that would be good as a combo to add to the fold? I'm trying to do like a mixture of all the different friends and different episodes. And so I want to have like you and Danny on one time because people have been on like you and Isaiah, just random like combinations of the people. I, I think you have to get a a female on you have to get a girl on and then you have to get either i think lauren would be good or kelsey yeah or rachel rachel might be good that wasn't very convincing but yeah i, mean, I, I haven't spoken to rachel in so long yeah i would book it though probably imagine if you i was like hey girl i need a favor from you i need you to go to rachel and ask her to be on my podcast on my behalf why, why would weird, I do I'm that? I'm not going to do that. I'm saying, imagine how weird it would be if, if I did that. It'd be, it'd be weird. It would be I probably weird. wouldn't do it. It'd probably be pretty say, weird. Go ask her yourself. That's yeah, pretty valid, <laughs> honestly. Um, yeah. Another um, date though. I had another, you have another date. I have another date. We don't know who, who we're well, talking about specifically, but, um, I, I do have it. I'm going to try to have another date with my, my Saturday date. From last week. It was good too. Uh huh. Before we went to that party, before we went to that Twilight themed party, what did you think of that? Uh, yeah. Hollywood. Like, we I went like, to actual Hollywood, like in the thick of it, you know? Um, yeah, we were on Sunset. We were at the Roxy. I thought it was fun. I thought, I liked that it was, wasn't like packed. Um, and not, yeah, the blood looked good. Can you explain why there was blood makeup? Um, because it was a vampire themed party. <laughs> yeah. I think, I guess apparently there's a big difference between just saying it's a vampire party and a twilight party. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, but I, I feel like we were the only ones that walked in with any makeup on. Yeah. And they made it sound like, oh, if you don't have this outfit on, you're not going to get let in. I thought, of, I thought people were going to be like way more dressed up than us. We were just in, we had a black t-shirt on black pants and a little bit of blood around our mouths. And people were like, oh my gosh, you guys were, went all out. I know. I, I got a little sensitive and wiped it off. I got, blood I off got myself. I got a little insecure as well. And at a certain point, I, I kept it on for a good hour or so, hour and a half. Yeah, at least. And then wiped it off. Um, because people just kept looking at my mouth. Yeah, wouldn't uh, want that. But wait, now that it's approaching Halloween season, yeah, I don't know. How what do you feel about it as you've gotten older? And the it's still like a fun. It's fun. It can be fun. I don't really do that well in the costume. Like, 
category. I don't think it's, I think I could put a little more, I think I could just put a little more effort and it would go well. I think that's what it all is. It just comes down to some effort. You don't need to have effort. You just have a, you have to have a good idea. What like, would you want to, what, what do you want to be this year? I don't know. Um, Mikey said the guy f- do, to, uh, do, to do the Willy, Willy Wonka. <laughs> I could do Willy Wonka. <laughs> or um, you could pull off you like, could pull off the Willy Wonka. Like uh, this. Hold on. Can I put, pull, pull off Willy Wonka? Yeah, wait. Send this to me too. Or, um, or the guy from the Hunger Games. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Caesar Milan from the Hunger Games. <laughs> wait, is he the guy uh, like... Hold on. I'm, I'm blanking on this one. Willy Wonka. <laughs> like this? Yeah, sure. Can you pull up to the your up chair up there? Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna put this on the. I'm gonna put this on the screen. But yes, that's perfect. Really? That's not, you should do that. Not yeah. Do that. Do that one because that's like Johnny Depp. OG. Do you remember that movie when we were kids? Yeah. Um. Or uh, Caesar Milan. Um. Can you show me a picture of Caesar Milan? Uh. No, wait, is it Caesar Milan? No, it's not Caesar Milan. That's the dog trainer. Uh, isn't it? I don't know who Caesar Milan is. Caesar F- Flickerman. Caesar Flickerman. <laughs> Hold on. Caesar Milan is a dog trainer. I don't want to. <laughs> There's like okay. a celebrity dog trainer. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's so pretty sick. On TLC. Hold on. This guy. Oh yeah, exactly. I know that is. Yeah, I'll, I'll put I'll put up the photo. I'll put the photo up. I'll put it up there. Yeah, okay. I'll throw it up. Yeah, we'll use the we'll use some B roll. We'll do it. You know, new style. Do you uh, do you actually like Bui Sushi as much as they say that you like it? No, I do not like Bui Sushi. Why is that a thing that Danny is perpetuating that because he's messing with us? Bui Sushi is not good. Did you like it at any point before when I was in probably high school? Middle school, high school, How as a kid. Your sushi preference evolved over uh, time. My palate has definitely become more sophisticated and mature. <laughs> um, I favorite sushi is probably sushi fumi. Sushi fumi. Uh huh. Where's that at? Some La Cienega, I think. I used to work with someone named Fumi. Fumi. Yeah. Uh, He's cool. He. She. Oh. You know, was her last she name. stuck up for herself. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Uh, it does matter. I guess I know it, but we're not going to say on the yeah, podcast yeah. out of respect. Yeah. Mr. I don't want to talk about my dating. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I forgot where half our microphones on. Yeah. Um, um, you uh, wouldn't take a date to Bui Sushi these days. No, I would not. What if your date said she wanted to go there? I would say, let's go to uh, probably this other place. What if she said this is the most important thing or else is like our relationship? Well, then obviously I'll get some, like, but we all survive. <laughs> I'm not crazy. You it's hold not that like over it's your head. Like, <laughs> hold it over your head. Like, no, that. I'm, I'm fine. I, I can, I can also like, I'm not, I can very, I can, I can definitely you can survive. pushed around by the girl a little I bit? Can, no, I can definitely survive eating buoy sushi. It's like not the worst. <laughs> it's just like, there's definitely better sushi out there. Yeah, I agree. What's one that you don't like that people say they like maybe? And you're like, why do they like that? Is it buoy? Uh, I don't like Shibuya. What is that exactly? Calabasas. Shibu- I like the name though. Shibuya sounds like a fun ass club to go to yeah shibuya shibuya it sounds like you're saying like shibuya like shibuya what's up shibuya is uh, people rave about it but jacob he was mikey and i what um a while ago and it was just way overpriced and way it was just not very good at all so you went with danny no mikey and jacob oh okay um I was at Hamptons. Hamptons was a lot of fun. Give me um, the rundown. Birthday celebration. Huh? Give me the rundown. What was cel- birthday celebration? Oh, uh, we just... Did you guys go out to bars or anything? Did you? Uh, yeah, we went out to, 
to uh no, we didn't really go out that much we uh we just hung out we like hung out by the pool um got lunch breakfast during the days and then like on my actual birthday we got lunch at i forget where it's i think it's called sunset beach um good lunch and then we just hung out um went to this this like wine i don't know what it is it's like almost like penmar you get you like buy your bottle of wine there and sit down on the you know chairs or blankets and kind of watch a band so we did that uh and more on steroids and then we went to this club like a, like called, a nightclub like in yeah like a bar nightclub called uh common common ground which was a lot of fun what was so what was fun about it it was just you know we we got table and did the whole thing talk to any hot girls uh, oh, you don't want to say because you don't want to, you know, all the girls that are you, you're seeing are going to hear this episode. No, I'm go, just not Griffin, talking about. I'm Griffin not, goes to the Hamptons and just re- gets reckless and we don't talk about it. I'm not, I don't, it's not, I'm, I'm not kidding. Reckless. I'm kidding. <laughs> but kind of, yeah. Um, what was I going to ask about? Oh yeah. Do you think Soho House is a good date spot? Have you ever taken a date to Soho House? No. I honestly, I don't go on many dates at all. I, it's very, very rare. Um, you like it to not be rare? Like, is that, or do you like it? Rare? It's like, does yeah. that make it seem each date? No, thing honestly, better? I'm fine with like an occasional. Well, a date is kind of a big activity if you're going to go to a nice restaurant. If you think yeah, about it, yeah, it's not it's in not, LA, it doesn't it's go, not, it's not, it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap at all. That, <laughs> that's an understanding. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, I mean, if, if you're you want to take her to Panda Express, if you're going to do it right, it's, um, no, it's, but it's, that's a part of it. It's like what you do. Um, Take a girl to a nice Panda Express on Lincoln in Venice. I'm telling you, dude. I might work out. I might go there with my laptop one day and work out of there. It's so nice. I swear to God, it's so clean and nice in there. It's like the Panda nicest. Express? Yeah, dude. It's slept on. Like, every coffee shop is packed. Starbucks. You got a bunch of homeless dudes, you know. I can work with Starbucks. Do you go to? I don't know. Just, I'm just it's Starbucks. It's not. Starbucks is like a magnet for homeless people. Like, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, Starbucks specifically, like even more than Dunkin', I think. I think people have more respect for Dunkin', even though there are not that many out here on the East Coast. There's no shit going down at Dunkin' at, at, that I've seen. I don't know. I don't I don't go to either of those places because I, I don't drink coffee. Matcha, you're a matcha guy? Yeah, matcha. I only drink matcha. So only I can't drink coffee or I'll get like Doesn't it have matcha have caffeine in it? Yeah, but it's definitely it's it's like it it's like it almost it's closer to a tea. It's not as so what's enjoyable about it? the taste is the good part. I think coffee is not bad. It's it's like no, it's the coffee hit like the caffeine hits you like it like very hard. Um, matcha, it's more kind of like it's not as it's not as crazy as of a, like I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's like definitely a cold mellower, brew, like a cold brew, like oh, like destroy. It's you. mellower than coffee, and it's it kind of it, it gives you energy kind of sl- more slowly. Coffee, I think, um, it, it like caffeinates you very quickly. Yeah, kind of, kind of jacks you up, and then, like immediately, you're like whoa. Yeah. Um. So, um. But yeah, my, and I, matcha. I don't know. I just I just like it better. Um. And then like coffee would just make me jittery and give me headaches and not make me feel good. Um, so matcha just doesn't do that to me. And now I'm, I, I like have to have it every morning. I'm a, I'm definitely, it's like, a, it's more of like a ritual thing. Yeah. I need I to have I it. That too and it's good. Coffee. It's nice to have. I recently got that instant espresso. I brought that from Santa Barbara. Mm-hmm. Shout out Unc Eddie. Shout out Uncle Eddie. With Unc. The- Unk, as Danny would call him. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I've been a morning coffee person. I'm going to have one of those crazy C4 energy drinks tomorrow morning, though. Let to go get one at Gold's from the vending machine there. It's going to be a crazy morning. C4? Yeah, you ever tried one of those? No. You don't like coffee? That is like coffee on steroids. It's crazy. It can't be good for you. No, I should. I, I used to drink them pretty frequently, and now I've leveled off. I've gotten off the C4. Is it what like sugary drink? What I don't. There? There's zero sugar in it. It's just sweetened chemicals and 
it's not good but um anyway this has been fun so good i think that was a good point you good here yeah all right